Okay, today we're going to have a look at an Okamoto. Uh, this is a really nice 16 by 32 DX. Just going to take this off temporarily. Uh, so it's got a real nice magnet on here. We've got the grinding wheel hub. It has that automatic over the wheel dresser. Also has a paper band. Uh, automatic paper advance uh, coolant system. The machine's currently wired for 440 volts, 460. You also have your three uh, leveling pads for the three-point leveling system on this machine. Uh, so right now I have it running. The hydraulics are on. The spindle is on. I could shut that off. You get an error up there once. You shut off the hydraulics, and we can start that again. Okay. So that's the hydraulics, and this is the grinding wheel, the spindle. Starting our table, we Get the table going like that, and our cross slide. We have to select a position to go, and the saddle starts to move. So the saddle's going to move in to the point where you have the dogs over here set. There's a couple of proximity switches that. Uh, you address the, the stroke, the stroke of the saddle movement here. I have them close together just for the video. Same with your table stroke here, the length of this. Uh, as you open this up, it'll get larger. I just don't want to hit anything. And it just makes the whole thing a little bit quicker. Controls down here, this is hydraulic. Uh, the more you uh, move this little indicator knob out, toward you, uh, the bigger the step is going to be when it's stepping in the surface grinding mode. Uh, this is a control for the cross saddle, either inc incremental or stepping like we're doing now, or if you move it all the way up here, it'll go back and forth continuously. It won't step, it'll just... <clears throat> and this again, adjust the size of your step. Now this is for your table, this is actually the speed. You want to slow that down or shut it off. It does have a park can park it and then start it again. All right, so uh, on your control box here, you've got a digital readout that you can set to zero. And if you're in the hand pulse generator mode, uh, we can move our wheel gently down to our workpiece. Or we also have a rapid where we go fast down or fast up. And this is set up pretty nice. They, they have uh, <coughs> tenths, thousandths, and uh, uh, I mean ten millions, one tenth, and five tenths for your manual pulse generator. Well, that's your one tenth. And that's your ten millions. Editing mode, uh, you slip it into this position here. You can reset this and just let's say we want to take off uh, 10 thousandths. Uh, you have a mode here, surface grinding, where we have the saddle going in and out. You also have without the saddle moving, which is what they call slot grinding or plunge grinding. Uh, you have two different modes. You have uh, feeding on both sides, which is in the center, or feeding only on the, on the one side, which is in the other setting. Um, and then you have a little program or some, some data they want you to put in. They want you to put in a value for your course feed increment, which I have as one thousandths. Uh, they want you to put in a, a value for your fine feed, which I have as one tenth. And they want you to put in a value for where it changes from the course to the fine, the, the changeover point. So I have that at uh, one thousandths before final size. So if everything is ready to go, up here I see I have 10,000s to take off. 
I'm in my, my plunge grinding mode or slot grinding mode. The saddle's not going to move. So each time the table reverses, uh, it's going to get a signal to feed down one thousandths, one thousandths, one thousandths. Uh, so start the cycle, you switch the switch down to the automatic. There's no cycle start button, it's just moving this selector switch to there. So now you see we start to feed down seven thousandths, six thousandths, right down to one thousandths where it's going to switch to the fine feed. Now we're only feeding it a tenth. And now the cycle's over. You can select how many empty spark out passes and then uh, it parks. So that's the whole cycle. Now in order to do your next cycle, again you gotta go into your edit mode, you gotta check your work pieces, uh, you have to uh, make any kind of adjustment if you need to, uh, but for your next job you're gonna have to touch the part again, you're gonna have to put an actual value in here. Uh, you know, I put in ten thousandths, but you, you may have to take off um, You may have to take off, you know, some some weird uh, number, and you could put any value in there you want into t into the ten thousands column. So it's it's pretty versatile that way. All right. Also, uh, this machine has over the wheel dressing. Some just have a hydraulic dresser that goes back and forth, uh, and some have um, a fully automated system. And uh, this one here will uh, dress the wheel for you. I believe it compensates. We have to check the quotation for that. I'm not 100% sure. I believe you can put in uh, how many cycles you do before you get to dress uh, cycle coming up. You put in your values of, of the dress increment and how much you want it to compensate. Um, so that's what that's all about. And then over here you've got your basic starting the hydraulic pump, the spindle, the coolant and whatever. <clears throat> so there you have it. This is a very nice grinder in very nice shape. Nice paint. Original paint. Somebody took care of it. This is the Okamoto 1632 DX. Oh and by the way uh, it takes a 14 inch grinding wheel. Uh, you could put a 12 on there but it's, it takes a 14 with a 12, uh, 5 inch bore. So uh, thank you very much.